uh, let's focus on one more company 8k miles will acquire synthel systems for 3.75 million dollars in cash and stock suresh venkatacharya chairman and ceo of 8k miles now joins us uh, mr venkatachari hi good morning uh, can you explain the rationale of uh, this this deal uh, it's a pretty small one and uh, do you have some further acquisitions in pipeline in the same space uh, uh, Sintel is a specialist in the UI and UX uh, interface for uh, mobile applications and web applications. It's a complementary to our uh, cloud computing SaaS platform. Uh, so it, it offers allows us to offer a complete uh, end-to-end -end offering to the enterprise customer. Uh, this gives about uh, 70 people adding to our uh, employee, employee strength and also which allows us to access their customers and also uh, to offer our existing customer a new suite of services. So this will enhance our total offering uh, to improve our uh, top line and bottom line over a period of time. What is uh, the current financials of this particular company, sir? Though the, I'm presuming it's very small. And what would be the eventual plan with this particular uh, acquisition that you've made? I can't hear well. I can't hear well actually. Okay, uh, we'll just come back to you in a minute. There's some sort of audio problem which is taking place at this point in time. But 8K Miles has been quite active off late in terms of acquisitions as well. Today the stock is up around 3.6%, possibly re um, reacting to that Sintel Systems acquisition. It's just around a $3.75 million deal in cash and stock. However, and the uh, stock is quite active on the back of that news. I think we have the management reconnected with us now. Uh, sir, if you can hear me, I was asking you about, uh, you know, what maybe the financials would look like in terms of a trajectory for Sintel. I understand that it might just be very negligible at this point in time, but eventually maybe in two years, what would you forecast in terms of earnings? And secondly, how, uh, uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, the company uh, currently uh, generate around a sales of around seven million dollars in sales and with a decent profitability when we combine with our cloud computing we could able to improve uh, the revenue and the uh, bottom line probably in the next 12 to 18 months uh, at least uh, significantly improve by another 10 to 15 percent on the bottom line and uh, maybe uh, double uh, the top line you said uh, the sales are seven million dollars, so I assume the acquisition has been at a discount for you. No, see, this is basically based on the profitability of the business, and also uh, they get a stock of the 8K miles of the oh. subsidiary company, so they they also get an additional value uh, over a period of a time. Okay, so what's the total valuation of this particular entity? 3.75 million dollars. The sales is seven million dollars, and the profit is around uh, somewhere around uh, 600 to 700 thousand dollars net profit. Okay, you've been quite active on the acquisition front. If if I'm not mistaken, uh, you did acquire Surge Solutions. Then in March also you uh, you know announced an acquisition in Canada. Can you just tell us uh, the range in terms of the acquisitions that you're looking at, and what would the pipeline look at as well look like? We continue to grow both organic and inorganic. The reason for acquisition is to complement our offerings. The search acquisition uh, is basically to enhance our healthcare domain expertise and it's actually really playing very well for us. Uh, we could able to uh, sell our cloud services into the healthcare hospital market providers and giving a good generation. The mind print acquisition which is a SaaS based uh, for CRO. Uh, we are continuing to build the product right now and this could be a good offering for us over a long period of uh, next two to three years where we could able to uh, provide a CRO analytics platform for both uh, CROs as well as uh, pharma industry. Uh, the reason behind a central acquisition is on our technology domain actually. It is to improve our end-to-end -end offering because as a 8K miles, we started with the cloud as a base platform. We help companies to migrate into cloud and provide managed services. Over a period, we acquired a first company called Fusion Solution in 2013, which is uh, on an identity and security platform to help the security. So uh, when we improve the technology, we, we continue to improve on the technology acquisitions and also on the domain platform. Uh, we focus more on a healthcare and pharma is the two vertical where our future acquisition also will, will be aligning towards uh, that industry, which will complement us and make us a, a clear leadership in the position in the industry. 
Sure. All right, uh, Mr. Venkatesh. Thanks a lot for your time today. That's 8K miles, the stock up about 4%. Let's take a break on that note. Up next, we'll focus on the pharma sector with Abhishek Sharma.